Hello and welcome. My name is B Souls, and in this space, I share with you a defined and holistic content that spans various aspects of life, from health to motherhood, marriage, relationship, and lots more. If these are things that interest you, please make sure to stay glued, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. So today, I come bearing good news. Do you know that prenatal supplements, particularly folic acid, is very important in the normal formation of a baby in the womb, the intrauterine life? And that's why I want to talk to you about birth defects and that small yellow tablet, folic acid. Pregnancy is a very beautiful miracle from God. As beautiful as it is, it's also a delicate state because a whole life depends on you for nutrients, for support till birth. Now, a lot of people do not plan their pregnancies, and this means that many women only realize that they are pregnant days to weeks after they have missed their periods. This is often at about the fourth to sixth week post-pregnancy. It is at this time that people start to take their perinatal vitamins and also commence antenatal care. Here is the point. By the third to fourth week of pregnancy, the process by which the brain and spinal cord forms starts. This process is known as neurulation. Folate plays a very important role in methylation and nucleic acid synthesis, which are very important biochemical steps involved in the process of neurotube formation. During this stage, the embryo has to undergo rapid cell division and cell growth, which are all necessary steps for the closure of the neural tube at the appropriate time. The cranial neuropore, which is the brain side of the neural tube, closes at about the 24th day, while the caudal neuropore closes by the 26th day of intrauterine life. If we do the maths, all this happens before the fourth week of pregnancy, and most women are probably just realizing that they are pregnant at this time. So, any impairment in the embryological process of neurotube formation will result in what we call neurotube defects. Examples of this neurotube defects include an encephaly in which the skull and the brain is absent. Most of these children do not survive beyond the first 24 hours of life. And then we have spinal bifida. This is common around the lumbosacral spine and in this case, there's usually a defect in the spine which may or may not be associated with bulging of the covering of the spinal cord which is known as the meninges and even the spinal cord into that defect. Children with this defect present with a spectrum of symptoms which ranges from varying degrees of limb weakness, sensory loss, and even sphincteric dysfunction. Nutritional supplementation with folic acid is one of the ways by which we can prevent the formation of neural tube defect. Of course, there are other factors that are responsible for formation of birth defects, and this includes an interplay of genetic and environmental factors. Now, having seen a few children born with spina bifida in recent times, I realized that there is a need for us to educate our female cycle a lot more about these factors that are responsible for formation of birth defects and little things such as the use of folic acid which can prevent the formation of this birth defect so you may want to ask what are the sources of folic acid you can get folic acid from your green leafy vegetables such as spinach broccoli avocado you can also get them from citrus fruits you can get them from whole grains eggs aquatic food and so on it is recommended that a woman in childbearing age should have have at least 400 microgram of folic acid daily and up to the 12th week post pregnancy to reduce the risk of neural tube defects this dose is usually increased in those who already have a family history of neural tube defects since we may not be able to quantify the amount of folic acid in the food that we eat it therefore becomes important to supplement our dietary intake with folic acid supplements so now you know that it is the prenatal consumption of folic acid 
that actually prevents neural tube defects and not that one that we start to take by the third month of pregnancy so are you a woman in childbearing age you have to eat nutrient rich foods and don't forget to pop that small yellow tablet and when i say small yellow tablet i mean folic acid let me also add that most folic acid come in combination with other vitamin supplements such as vitamin b complex and even iron supplement having said all please spread the message like wildfire tell your sisters mommies aunties friends uncles brothers husbands everyone that folic acid supplementation before pregnancy is very important in the normal formation of a baby in the intrauterine life and you also as a woman in childbearing age should not forget to pop the tablet thank you so much for listening do like share comment and i'll see you another time